Hey YouTube, Appalachian Survivalist here. Hey, I'm always talking about uh, making things work, especially when you don't have the right tools or right equipment or doing it the cheap way or doing it the inexpensive way, however you want to call that, redneck ingenuity, whatever. Well, what I had is uh, this tire here on my SUV is always going flat. Um, after about a day and a half, it'll, it'll just go completely flat. Uh, if I don't park it in the right spot, basically I'll have to jack it up and fill it up because the tire always comes off bead. So I remembered that I had some slime in one of my buildings, some good old tire slime. They're not, they're not uh, sponsoring this in any way, shape, or form. However, slime, if you would like to sponsor it, please give me a comment down below. <laughs> but uh, what I ran into is in order to put the slime in, you have to remove the core of the valve stem. So uh, the cap actually comes with a plastic valve stem core remover and it doesn't work. It doesn't work very well. Um, obviously a car tire is gonna be a little tighter. I did deflate, let this be deflated as much as I could and it still wouldn't unscrew. I don't have a core stem remover, so I made one. And what I did is I took a self-tapping roofing screw. And the reason I used it is because it has more of a flat type end here, as you can see. And what I did is I took a Dremel and I made my gap and just kind of a simple Dremel wheel, a small uh, cutting wheel, and I was able to make that gap and that fits perfectly down here into the valve stem, slides right in place. And then what I can do is I take my wrench or my screwdriver, fits on there and I can open that up, tighten it up, do whatever I need. So, if you are like me and right now you're looking and searching because you need one of these and you don't want to drive 25 minutes, 35 minutes to town, whatever it is, to go find one, pay for one, get you an old roofing screw, self-tapper, whatever, cut you a little hole in there and it'll fit right on there and then you can use your screwdriver to go ahead and tighten it and untighten it. So I'm going to keep a hold of this, put this in my drawer with this. I may even got a couple of these so I may even tape this on there and put a label on it I don't know but uh, just uh, just a quick DIY there so as always uh, like and subscribe comment down below hit the notification bell and be safe be healthy and God bless